haven't vlogged anything today. I've been busy cleaning the garage. Tay's been practicing training for soccer because they're off. Just been doing things. And I thought I'd get the mower. This little like compacting thing you use to roll your lawn. You know, dirt and stuff around the property. And uh, I thought I'd try to flatten out that old ditch that we dug for the dog fence. It's doing good. It's doing real good. Until we got to the uh, little hill that goes in the forest. Then we hit the, uh, the clay. And the, the weight of this roller is very heavy because it's got water in it. Uh, and then we, we slid. We slid right into the fence. Good thing the fence is there because it, it stopped us. But uh, now we got to get this out. So we're just... Uh, here we are, and I got Tay helping me. Good thing Tay's here to help. So when you go, try to go to your right, like you're gonna loop it. Hang on. We're too close to this little tree. So we gotta change direction, go that way. so bad now was it come back a little bit now we just got to go get that rolly thingy which is really heavy and i don't have an easy way of hooking it to this we just have to try something i don't know figure it out i could just use the tie down probably that'll work that's what we'll do mateo stuff happens way too often wish wish I made things easy on myself but it never goes that way I feel like all right hopefully that holds and works we should probably get rid of this one we broke one got caught right on the tree sheared it right off get this thing out watch out chicken chick-fil-a in a minute watch it more hey Cattle dogs, I swear. Like she still wants she wants to like herd herd the players. So see this thing's like super like, like that's me pulling both as hard as I can. Like it is not light at all when it's full of water. Um, so I'll just use this one to throw under there. Get a little slack in the line so we can take it off. Now we can hook it back up and get back to, to Mo. Like I said in the day before yesterday's vlog, I think, it's work. Like, I swear, winter, like, winter feels like it's time to work in the yard. Like, which doesn't really make too much sense because it's soaked and muddy and like that. You Like, look at it. It's like racing slicks once they get that clean. Hi. <sighs> It's never ending round. What are you guys doing? Leave, leave this thing alone. 
Huh? I think Babs is finally going to make me throw these pants away. These are my favorite pair of pants, but I did. I split them. I split them when I went to the dump earlier. They're my favorite pair. Like, I love... It's just a good pair of jeans just feels so good to wear. All right. So we're going to wash this off. Babs is on her way home. Um, Brother-in-law has been in the hospital. Uh, he's had a, a problem with a, a sword. It's, just, it's a thing that... Um, it's common with um, people that are paralyzed that are confined to like a wheelchair or something because they get pressure points, uh, these sores from all the pressure. So it's been something he's been battling and uh, they finally took him in and uh, did something with it with surgery wise. So he's uh, he's been at the hospital and he's kind of stuck there for a little bit. So Babs has been going and uh, sitting with him during the day. Everything is going good with it. Hopefully uh, all goes well and he's got speedy recovery, you know, and get home. I know he's super bummed out. Uh, with the holidays and everything coming because I don't I don't know if he's home for Christmas or if he has to stay at the hospital because he's got to stay confined uh, to the bed so I don't know you gotta wait and see what goes on but uh, I got some windows I got to do for his room down at that other house so we'll get that done while he's gone uh, but yeah so we're waiting for Babs to get home and we'll start dinner Mace what are we doing anything exciting all right so we got the garage Guys are looking way cleaner now. Much better. We gotta go through all, we have so much, like we're still getting rid of stuff. Like, it, it blows my mind how much stuff and just junk and crap we had in California. I don't know if it was just we were buying stuff just to, to fill voids of uh, happiness or, or something, but we still have a ton of stuff to get rid of. And, and it feels so good to rid ourselves of junk. It just blows my mind when I sit back and I look at what people keep what they hang on to, that they're never, ever, ever gonna, they like tell themselves lies, that they're gonna use it, and they're not gonna use it. So, got the garage cleaned up for the most part, we need to go through this junk. Uh, so, like I said, like, it seems like winter time is just, all of a sudden it flips a switch where it's time to uh, do work around the house, and uh, that's all we've been doing. So I'm excited to get this cleaned up, um, that way Babs, Babs can work out in here still, uh, hopefully going to be moving some more of this stuff out uh, here in the next uh, month or so uh, to, to give us some more room, some of the toys and stuff that isn't used all the time. i uh, got some more windows to put in. i got to go put my brother-in-law's windows in. I want to get those in before he gets back from the hospital, make sure that's done. But uh, I know we got some weather coming. we got we got a lot of rain coming tomorrow. They're saying, they're saying there's a chance for a white Christmas. They're saying there's a chance for a white Christmas. I, if, it, if it's a white Christmas... Uh, it'll blow my mind. Like, I'll be so excited if that if if it oh if it's a white Christmas. My goodness. Oh, uh, what will we do? Wow, that's pretty cool inside. Reminds me of a uh, Puff Daddy, right? Puff Daddy and Mace, like their their more money, more more money, more problems video. Looks like the inside of a cheese grater, kind of. All right, that is it from Tennessee, y'all. Merry Christmas. Talk to you later.